commander. So let's get right into it. So our commander is going to be Denethor, ruling steward. And basically it says it's uh, one of any color, Orzov. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died under your control this turn, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. And then you could tap two to sacrifice another creature. Each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. So you could sack another creature. Um, at your end step, you make um, the 1-1 one, one white soldier, which then in the future you can use for your commander to sacrifice, or you can use um, some other abilities in the deck to draw cards like Village Rites, Plum the Forbidden, and uh, an air that does the same effect. Either when a creature enters, or when a target player loses a life, you gain a life. Um, Life draw card. Um, whenever your planets are out of control, dies. He has, and whenever the field gives, and whenever gain life. So we have Zulaport Cutthroat. When a creature dies, under control dies. Two creatures. Um, each opponent will lose two life. They have to sack creature. You add two swamp and uh, draw a card. Um, and then we have cards like Welcoming Vampire or Morbid Opportunist to draw us cards when um, either a creature dies or a creature with power two or less enters the battlefield. Um, Tessa, Tessa Karloff is getting here because um, it basically gives you double dying triggers and also your tokens will have Vigilance and Lifelink. Um, and then we have Grey Merchant of Ast Whatever you're into uh, black, uh, you gain that much. This could drain all of them, and you're going to gain a ton of life out of it. Um, then for source, sign and blood, knights of spirit, read the bones, um, removal pieces as it feeds the swarm. Um, this card, Sam's Desperate Rescue, is good because it can return a creature from your grave. Ring Tenku. And then for instance, we are running Corrupted Condition, Dark Ritual to add three Swamp to our mana pool, Deadly Dispute, Nasty End, Path to Exile, Plum the Forbidden, Swords to Plowshare, and Village Rites. And then for Artifacts, we're running again the general uh, the general mana rock. So Arcane Signet, Commander Sphere, Felwar Stone, Mind Stone, Signet. Soul Ring, Talisman, and Thought Vessel. We have Skull Clamp to draw us cards. Um, we have Norn's Wellspring to also draw us cards. And then we have the Swift Boots to protect a creature, give it Hexproof and Haste. And then for Enchantments, we're running Bastion of Remembrance. So whenever it enters the battlefield, we create a 1 1 White Human Soul creature token. And then whenever a creature control dies, uh, each one loses life, you gain a life. We have the new card, Dawn of a New Age. So when it ETBs, it enters with a hope counter for each creature control. And at the beginning of your end step, you may remove a, a hope counter to draw a card. Um, and then when it has no counters left on it, you gain four life. And then we have Feast of the Story is Dead. At the beginning of your upkeep, if one or more creatures died this turn, you gain that much life. And you distribute that many 1-1 one -one counters among creatures you control. Then we're also playing Life Insurance. Uh, it has Extort. Um, so if you cast a spell with the Extort cost, each opponent loses one life, you gain that much life. And whenever a non-token creature dies, you lose one life and you create a treasure token. Um, we play Sanguine Bond. Uh, whenever you gain life, target opponents lose that much life. And then lastly, we're playing Scrolls Hive. So at the beginning of our upkeep, you lose one life and create a Colorless Phyrexian Might. That cannot block with Toxic 1. And as long as opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures you control with Toxic have lifelink, which is not important for this in our deck. We're just using this to generate mites, which we can sacrifice. And then for lands, we are just running general general lands. Nothing too fancy. We have the Barader to amass orcs. We have Cast an Arnvale to make tokens at the end step of either your turn or your opponent's turn. Um, we are playing Command Tower, Path to Ancestry, so we can scry, and then Myriad Landscape for Ramp. 
And then for tokens, we are making food, human, human soldier, orc army, Phyrexian might, the ring, a treasure token, and that's it. So looking at the mana curve, we curve out at two because we have a lot of two drops. And then 31% of our um, symbols are white, 66% are black, and then 15% are colorless. Um, and this deck is relatively cheap from anywhere between $90 to $95, depending on the website you use. And that's the deck. I did play it earlier today, and it was really fun. Um, I did not win, but I did come in second place. So it is what it is. I got. I hope you uh, tweak this deck to your liking. Uh, the video will be uploaded to YouTube later with the Moxfield link and the links to my social media. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed this deck tech.